We are here at Jawaharlal Nehru Planetarium, a science center in Bengaluru, where a special screening for general public was held of the launch of the Chandrayaan 3, especially for children. And we are accompanied by a science writer and a scientist, we are Guru Prasad sir. Thank you for joining us. So, the successful launch of Chandrayaan 3, what does this mean for Indian space domain? Yeah, the thing is, this is a major achievement. Major is an understatement, I would say. It's a very significant achievement indeed. As you saw the student community here, they were, they were, they were ecstatic almost. And more than anything else, as a science writer, I came here, okay? And I was really amazed and I was overwhelmed, overwhelmed by one thing. That is, students came to me later and told, Sir, we study science with interest from now onwards. We do sums, we do mathematics with interest. We want to take our country to still greater heights in the domain of space. What else is needed? You wanted to inspire the student com large student community in India, galvanize them. And it has been made possible by Jawaharlal Nehru Planetarium here. Thanks to Mr. Pramod Galgali, who is the director of this center. So it was organized here and hundreds of students came here. And they saw the launch of Chandrayaan uh, 3 and the way in which the gigantic rocket LVM-3, the uh, largest and the most powerful rocket in Indian inventory, uh, in ISRO's inventory, taking Chandrayaan 3 in a very, very accurate way and putting it and placing it in an orbit which was the intended one. So the rocket, each stage of the rocket performed so well, really. You saw the path of the rocket. It was being shown repeatedly, the way in which the rocket followed. This speaks volumes for the ISRO, uh, uh, Indian Space Research Organization and the leadership of Shri Somnath, in fact. I feel, I feel this is the way in which many people felt here. Okay, so, sir, uh, the launch is successful. If you could uh, explain our viewers in simpler terms uh, the next stage, sir. Next stage is, you know, the thing is, as has been published by ISRO very clearly, the next stage is now it is circling, Chandrayaan 3 is circling the Earth. It is going around the Earth in a preliminary orbit. The next stage, as I understand through the ISRO publications, is the thing is, as well as the statements, that this, the height of the orbit is, will be increased in steps. It will be taken to higher and higher orbits around the Earth only. Still it is circling the Earth. Later at the opportune time, it will be made to follow a path that will go towards the moon. It will go around the moon and ultimately it will, Chandrayaan 3 will start circling the moon at a height of 100 kilometers. From there the lander will separate and it will land on the surface uh, of the moon and then a rover comes out of the lander okay and it will row that is it will travel around the landing site and it will uh, uh, it will explore the surface of the moon this is the thing actually. and also sir we spoke to uh, you know, all the children who watched the screening here they were uh, they were inspired sir yeah. and a uh, few also spoke to us and said that they want to be scientists in future what message do you have for them see my message is first thing is they have to have discipline not that they don't have the thing is with discipline if we progress forward Okay, we, 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 we move forward. That would be very good for the country. Second thing is, important thing is, they have to study science and understand science. Okay? The fundamental concepts they have to understand, not mugging. Third thing is, they have to do maths very well. Maths should not be read. The sums have to be done. Mathematics is the language of science, said Galilee. So the thing is, with uh, respect for teachers, parents, discipline, and understanding science well and doing mathematics well should take them on a very, very successful trajectory. I'm using the rocket term, trajectory, as well as making our countries much greater. So this is what I feel as a private citizen. Okay. And uh, uh, that's what I feel uh, uh, sincerely, I would say. And the potential of India is immense, I would say. The students look at them and they're so capable whether they speak Kannada or English, hmm. they are endowed with intelligence, which is quite, quite striking. I've given public lectures. Right? Okay. So thank, thank you so much, sir. Thank My you. pleasure. Uh, so there you go. We have scientist uh, and a science writer, Bia Guru Prasad, speaking to us uh, regarding the successful launch and his message for the students who attend the special screening uh, here at Jawaharlal yeah. Planetarium. <laughs> I feel very proud to be an Indian. I didn't know they used so much technology to uh, launch a rocket. I felt very proud and I was a bit shocked seeing all the uh, technologies they used. 
and it was very happy to see them and they explained very nicely mm -hmm. and I came to know very uh, huge information about rocket launch and all mm -hmm. and I came to know what fuel they use and how did they launch mm -hmm. and I saw the separation of rock, uh, launching uh, that was very nice to see feels really nice I saw the separation stages and uh, learned to, uh, very much about the uh, launching of the rocket, the building of the rocket and the payloads of the rocket, uh, the types of fuel, the advancement of technology in India. It was uh, very interesting to know everything and the lecture given by Dr. Guru Prasad was also very informative. So it was a really nice experience. It's a really proud moment for all Indians, even me including. I really want to launch a uh, rocket when I also grow up and it's a really proud moment for ev all the Indians whoever is watching the launch of Chandrayana 3 it's a really proud moment